Hi and welcome to quantity as a fraction percentage of another. Uh, just before we start, just a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we're going to begin with making, uh, showing a quantity as a fraction of another amount. And so uh, we begin with there are 8 orange sweets and 12 red sweets in a bag. What fraction of the sweets are red? Give your answer in its simplest form. Now, for us to uh, begin this question, the first thing is we need to identify some key uh, key values. And so in this question, we can see that there are 12 red sweets. And we were looking for the fraction of the sweets which are red. So 12 is going to be important. But it's going to be 12 out of a certain number. Now, the key is that it was what fraction of the sweets. So in total, there are 8 orange and 12 red sweets so in total we actually have 20 sweets and therefore it is 12 red sweets out of 20 in total now we are asked to give it in its simplest form which means we need to also simplify the fraction and so what number goes into 12 and 20 well we can divide both of them by 2 and we'll get 6 out of 10 but again we could simplify that again by dividing by 2 we'd get 3 out of Five. In the second one, a primary school has 300 students, 120 of these have a pet. What fraction of students do not have a pet? Give your answer in its simplest form. Well, the key here is that 120 have a pet, but we want the fraction who do not have a pet. So if there are 300 students and 120 of them have a pet, then the rest do not and the rest would be 180 students. And that is 180 people who do not have a pet out of the total number of students, which in this case was 300. And 180 divided by 300. Now we've been asked again for simplest form. So the first thing we can do, well, we can just get rid of the zeros at the end by dividing by 10. So I now have 18 over 30. What number goes into 18 and 30? Well, 6 goes into both numbers. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. 30 divided by 6 is 5. And so 3 fifths of the students do not have a pet. And if we continue, a cricket team plays 12 games in a season. They win 4 games and draw 2 games. What fraction of their games did they lose or draw? Give your answer in its simplest form. Well, having a look at this, we've got four games that they won, two games that they drew. So we need two, but we don't yet know how many they lost. Now, if we look at how many they lost, they were 12 games in total. So if we take away four, we're down to eight, and take away another two, we're down to six. So they must have lost six games. And so, the number of games that they drew or lost is 2 plus 6, which equals 8. And so they lost 8 out of the 12 games that they played. And again, we want to simplify that. 4 goes into both numbers, so we get 2 over 3. So two-thirds of the games they drew or lost. Now, we could have done that one as well in a slightly different way if we just thought about, well, what... Uh, what would be the other category? The other category would have just been the four games that they won. And so the four games that they won was four out of 12, which is one third. And so the rest of them would have been the draws and losses, the two thirds. So next we're going to look at how to show one quantity as a percentage of another. Um, now in this case it actually begins in exactly the same way. We want to begin with a fraction. Um, and so we have a bag contains three red counters, nine blue counters and eight white counters. What percentage of the counters is blue? So because we're looking at blue the first thing we need to think of here is how many are blue. Well there are nine blue counters. And so nine is going to be the top of our fraction. But then it is what percentage of the counters, and therefore we need to know how many counters there are in total. We have 3, plus 9 is 12, plus another 8 is 20, and therefore 9 out of 20 of the counters is blue. 
Now we want to turn this into a percentage and so the first thing we need to think of here is well percentage means out of 100 and so we need to turn this fraction into a fraction out of 100 and the way to do that will be to multiply by 5 and because we've done that at the bottom we need to do it at the top as well so 9 times 5 is 45. Now that it's a fraction out of 100 well we can just use the top as our percentage that is 45 percent and so 45 percent of the counters are blue. Next, what percentage of the word statistics is vowels? So the first thing we need to do here is identify which of the letters are vowels. Well that would be the A and the I and the I and therefore there are three letters which are vowels. The next thing is how many do we have in total? Well we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters in total. So that is three tenths. Now again, in order to turn this into a percentage, we need to think about making it out of 100, which is multiplying by 10. And we'll do that top and bottom. 3 times 10 is 30, and therefore we have 30%. 30% of the letters are vowels. And then finally we have a fruit bowl which contains 6 bananas, 7 apples and 2 oranges. What percentage of the fruit is bananas? So the first thing here we have six bananas so that's going to be the top of my fraction but it's then what percentage of the fruit and therefore we need to put all the fruit together six plus seven is 13 plus two is 15 we have 15 pieces of fruit now in this case i can't make this a fraction over 100 immediately because 15 is not a factor of 100 so the first thing we actually have to do here is to simplify the fraction and so both of these can be divided by three if I do that, I get two fifths. And so two fifths of the um, fruit is bananas, but we now want to make that a percentage. And so we need to place it over 100. To do that, how do I turn five into 100? I times by 20. And so I'll do the same top and bottom. Two times 20 is 40. And therefore we have 40%. 40% of the fruit are bananas. And so now we're going to have a look at a little bit of a mixture. Um, so we've been told a train journey takes three hours. The train stops at stations for a total of 45 minutes. What fraction of the journey is spent at stations? Give your answer in its simplest form. Now, the reason we're looking at this site question is we will notice that we actually have two different units. Um, one value is in hours and one value is in minutes. Therefore, if we're going to make a fraction out of this, what we actually need to do is convert them so they're both in the same, um, same unit. And in this case, it's going to be easier if we turn everything into minutes. So, how many minutes are there in one hour? So, one hour is 60 minutes. So, three hours is 180 minutes. And that was the total journey. Therefore, that is the bottom of our fraction. The top is the 45 minutes that we spent in stations. So 45 out of 180, how am I going to simplify that? Well, I need to look for um, a number which goes into 45 and 180. Well, that would actually be nine. Um, nine would go into both of them. So nine goes into 45 five times, and it goes into 180 20 times. Five out of, out of 20 can actually be simplified again because both of them are in the five times table and therefore 1 over 4. So actually a quarter of the time we spent of that journey in stations. Next we have a piece of wood has a length of 2.4 meters. A 60 centimeter piece is cut from it. What percentage of the original piece of wood is left over? So again here we have meters in one, uh, one part of the question. And we have centimetres in the other part of the question. Now, if that is the case, we want again to make everything the same type of unit. Therefore, this 2.4 metres, let's turn that into centimetres. And to do that, I'm going to times by 100. So that is 240 centimetres. Now, again, we have to be very careful here. It's what percentage of the original piece of wood is left over? Well, we cut 60, uh, 60 centimetres off. So if I take 60 centimetres off the 240, I'm left with 180 centimetres.
And so the percentage we're dealing with here is 180 out of the original amount. So 180 out of 240. Now here we're looking to make this a percentage. So the first thing here, we're going to have to simplify this fraction. They can both be divided by 10 to give us 18 over 24. And then we're going to have to simplify 18 over 24. Both of those can be divided by 6. So 18 would be 3 and 24 would be 4. So 180 over 240 is 3 quarters. And then we need to turn this into a percentage. And the way to do that would be to multiply by 25. If I do that, 3 times 25 is 75. And so we get 75%. And finally, to make a litre of juice, 150 millilitres of concentrate is mixed with water. What fraction of the juice is water? Give your answer in its simplest form. Now again, what we have here is a litre and then millilitres. So litre, that is 1,000 millilitres. So that is our first point of call. Now it asks how much of the juice is water. Now the 150 millilitres was the concentrate. Therefore, we are actually looking for the bit that's left over to make up the litre. So 1,000 take away 150 is 850 millilitres. That is how much water was used. And therefore, the water is going to be 850 out of the total 1,000. Now again, uh, we're asked for a fraction here, but simplest form. So the first thing we're going to do is divide by 10. Gives me 85 out of 100. And then what number goes into 85 and 100? Well, they can both be divided by 5. If I divide by 5 at the top, I get 17. If I divide by 5 at the bottom, I get 20. And so I have my simplest form. 17 twentieths is water. And so we end with the exam question. It came from the Edexcel paper in November 2018, and it was on both the foundation and higher paper three. Um, and so Fran asks each of 40 students how many books they bought last year. The chart below shows information about the number of books bought by each of the 40 students. Work out the percentage of these students who bought 20 or more books. So the first thing we need to do here is identify which part of this graph we're actually dealing with. If they bought 20 or more, well, that has to be this group of people here in the 20 to 24 section. And the next question is, how many did they buy? Well, we would need to read across this graph to see how many people that is. And what it's showing us is that there were two people who bought more than 20 books. But it's two out of how many? Well, it's two out of 40. Now, two out of 40 is the fraction of students, uh, but we were looking for the percentage. And so in this case, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to simplify. And the easiest way here is halving both the numbers. We get 1 20th. But because we want it as a percentage, well, we're going to make that a fraction out of 100. I've multiplied by 5 at the bottom. I've multiplied by 5 at the top. It becomes 5 out of 100. And so the answer here would be that 5% of students bought 20 or more books.